All right, so it is nighttime, and I'm going to attempt to stealth camp in a city. If you're really observant, you might be able to tell where I am. <laughs> but um, in the old days, when I was pretty much full-timing in the living in a van, I mostly camped out at Walmart. Um, because they were 24-hour Walmarts, and that meant that I had access to bathrooms and whatever in an emergency. And typically, they left me alone. And when the cops did knock, they didn't chase me away. They, you know, were just checking to make sure I was all right or whatever. But um, since that time, since COVID and, you know, now it's the year 2023. We're getting ready to hit 2024. It is New Year's weekend. Um, my understanding is that the Walmart is no longer open 24-7 most if not all of them shut down by like 10 11 o'clock at night so what does that mean well it, it means that if you're parked here overnight it's probably gonna be easy for them to spot you now right now it is about 7 45 p.m. so they're still open and the parking lot is pretty full but um, what I'm gonna try to do is well, first, let's just drive through the parking lot and look. Because I know where normally the van dwellers kind of park. Typically, um, van dwellers will park on far away, like at the edges and stuff of the store. Um, you know, far away from traffic. And that used to be okay for the Walmarts where, you know, they didn't care. The city didn't care and they let you stay. Um, but... If they no longer allow that, which, you know, I've heard that Walmart's been cracking down on people, um, then that means that um, it'll be easy to spot these people. But looking around, I already see what I think is a van dweller. Uh, there's a van with a high top, one of those, um, I don't know if it's a miniature, one of those Ford Transits, the little ones. Can you see it up there, up ahead, the little white one? I suspect that's a van dweller. And there's a bunch of other little cars here. Um, that one still has its lights on. I think, yeah, the lights are on. So they might be getting ready to leave. Maybe they just parked here temporarily. And I see cars parked here under the trees. And it's, you know, this side is the dark side <laughs> of the parking lot. And when I was uh, in this area before, I used to park right around here too. And, you know, the cops never hassled me. I did get the knock, but they didn't make me leave. You know, they were just, I don't know, I don't remember why they knocked, but um, I think just making sure everything was alright. But, um, with the Walmart now closing at about 10 or 11 o'clock, it's going to be kind of easy to spot cars that are in those areas. I see um, a van here, we're going to look at it. A van with a um, camper behind it so if they're planning on staying overnight it, they may actually get caught it'll be interesting interesting because right now it's not closed Walmart is still open I am gonna try to park where I think the employees park because I, I know this particular Walmart and I think I know where the employees park Unless they, re, you know, they changed the location, which I doubt. But I'm going to try to park amongst the employees. And the reason for doing that is, um, obviously, when the Walmart is closed, I want to kind of blend in with the cars that are still here, which would be the uh, overnight stalkers. They don't have that many people working Walmart now. You know, like even the overnight crew is only going to be a minimal a handful. So it's not like it used to be in the Tay Day. Um, I think Walmart's kind of starting to fail. I don't, I don't know about failing, but they're no longer as big and successful as they used to be. And I don't know if you can see that blinking, the car with the blinking lights there. See that yellow blinking over there? That is to patrol. They are patrolling the parking lot. So I suspect 
that they will um, be looking for people living in their van or a car or whatever um, because of all the issues that um, that occur. Now I'm going to try to hide here amongst these cars but I don't know if it's going to um, allow me to blend in or not. So I'm, I'm parked where I think the employees park. Although they could park on the side of the building. Might even be safer to go to the side of the building. I'm going to try to park over here and see if I can make it through the night without the knock. So cross your fingers. Wish me luck. Um, this is my first time back trying to sleep at Walmart. <laughs> I think the last time I slept at Walmart was more than um, three or four years ago. It was right before uh, I, I was able to buy the house. You know, I bought the, the mobile home and um, since then I haven't really had to sleep at Walmart. But Walmart is my um, go-to place just because it has a bathroom it also has supplies like food and you know ice and all the things you normally need or would want to to make your your stay at the hotel a little bit more comfortable but for today we are going to attempt to um just check it out and see what the situation is so I it, it's not closed right now so I'm gonna go inside and walk around and look around a little bit and um, just check out some stuff inside Walmart and then when I come out I'm gonna try to sneak back here and kind of just hopefully blend in I don't know if I'm going to be able to or not because you know there's not a lot of cars here and I hope that um, when it closes I'm not the only car that's parked out here because <laughs> if, if I'm the only car that's left in this parking lot, for sure they'll spot me. And my goal or my hope is to wake up really early tomorrow morning to leave. But I also want to look around and check that far side, which is where the normally the um, the car dwellers and van dwellers camp, which is over there on that, that end over there. So we will find out. So stay tuned. I will keep you guys posted wish me luck meanwhile um i do want to point out something although you probably can't see it too well yeah you definitely can't see it at all <laughs> um let me see if i can get the light to turn on well i'm gonna i'm gonna shut i'm gonna shut the car off and i'm gonna try to turn the light on but um basically there we go i don't know if, if you can see the difference here the the bed the bed is now full width, and the reason is the um, mattress came in. You know, the futon that I had ordered, you can see here, this thick futon. It's like four inches, and it is a twin size, so it's like about 39 inches, which um, 39, 40 inches, I think it's about 39, went perfectly across. So I got kind of lucky that the fit was perfect. So um, I'll, I'll show that off tomorrow. But we are going to find out how well that mattress sleeps. You know, I think um, having a good bed to sleep in is one of the most important things you can do if you're living in your vehicle or even traveling in it and having sleep in your vehicle. So I actually bought this from Walmart online for about $89. It was like $89, $85. And um, we're going to find out how good it is. So stay tuned and we'll take a look at that, at, at that mattress tomorrow. I will keep you guys posted on what happens tonight.